Hey there folks, welcome to the quick start guide for Explain Everything. My name is Chris Kozord and I'm going to be guiding you through how to use Explain Everything. It's a quick start guide, so we're just going to get in, explain everything, and get out. So uh, first you need to see if you have it on your iPad. If you pull your finger down there, type in E-X-P-L-A-I-N, it should pop up there. Explain everything. There's a little hello world. I was working on earlier, I'm going to hit the home button. What you should see, something more along the lines of this, except that you probably don't have any explain everything items uh, in there, so you're going to want to hit plus way up there in the corner and uh, pick a template. I'm going to go ahead and pick black with white, pink, and blue. And I've got this nice blank uh, stage where I can write all kinds of things, right? Hello. Uh, if I write on the stage, I'm not recording it yet because I haven't hit the record button down here on the bottom. If I do hit record, then from that point forward, it is now going to, well, record everything I'm doing. And so uh, as I'm recording, uh, it will it will follow me along. So, hello world. And here's a picture of the world. Uh, I can use other colors of pens down there in the corner uh, right here. So uh, if I want to use blue, I just tap on that. If I tap on it and hold it, I can pick a darker blue uh, where the oceans might be. And if I want to change another color altogether, I could tap on the pink there, hold it down, and pick green where the land might be. And uh, yeah, it's recording as I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it by hitting the record button again. I can pause it as well uh, and play it back. So if I hit play, let me turn the volume up here so you can hear what's happening. So there you go, you get the idea. Uh, it's copied everything from that point forward. Uh, you can set up uh, different items on uh, your whiteboard, or in this case, blackboard, uh, and annotate them. We'll get into that in the next series. Uh, but for now, uh, let's pretend you just wanted one slide and uh, you wanted to upload it. The buttons for uploading are over here. You can upload it just to your camera roll on your iPad, uh, which would allow you to play it back on the iPad. But the idea here is we want to share it, right? So um, there are a number of different ways to do that. Uh, and one of those ways is web dev. So I'm going to walk you through that here. And uh, in order to do that, what I'm going to do first is save this. So if you hit the home button, it's going to ask you, hey, you know, you created a project. Do you want to save it? And so I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to go ahead and call this test and save it. And now you can see over here, uh, there's my test explain everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little house cleaning here and uh, turn off something for myself there, WebDAB, so that I can show you how to get in there. Let me explain. So if I have uh, my explain everything, I'm done, and I want to actually put it on uh, the Bellarmine server, I'm going to go ahead and tap that second item right here, which is that movie upload, and I can upload it to our server using WebDAV. So if you can notice over here it says WebDAV. And if I tap on WebDAV then it says tap to log in. So I'm gonna hurry up and do that. I'm gonna use dav.bcp.org there. And then for a username, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this from everyone real quick. Uh, except you know what my username is, so we'll do that. Put the password. Whatever you've got mirroring on your iPad, you always want to hide that. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way here. And uh, you can enjoy the view for a minute. And there we go. And once I hit go there, it's going to log me in. And it should say I've logged in successfully. Now what does that mean? Well, it means that I am now connected to my Bellarmine files on our Bellarmine server. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my name up there in the corner, which was Cozort, and then I'm going to go to Documents. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap Export. Uh, I'm just going to put it into my documents on our server, and I'm going to call it Test. And what it's actually doing is it's 
exporting a movie file. Uh, the longer you record, the longer this will take. So if you uh, need your iPad for other things, you're going to have to wait because Explain Everything is actually going to export this movie, uh, which does take a little while. So we'll look at this in just a second. And there we go. So hopefully at the end you see upload success. And now if I go to my documents on our server, I should see a file called test way down at the bottom. And there it is. MP4 happens to be the file type. And as you can see, if I bring it up, uh, it will play it. So here's, uh, here's my file. And from there, if I wanted to share it with my students, as long as the video isn't too big, and here in Windows it's really easy to see, uh, this happens to be about 2.5 megs, which is a pretty small file. Uh, but then again, I didn't record for very long. Um, I could easily upload this to Canvas. And so the deal is, if I want to add that video now to a Canvas page, that's super easy. I can go and edit any page that I've created. This is my front page. Come down here. I'm actually going to use this uh, movie strip or record upload media button. And instead of recording from the camera, of course, I'm going to upload. Um, and I can select a video file. And so even though I've got it in my library over there as a, a viewable file or a downloadable file, I can also do it this way. So I'm going to scroll down to my documents again. And this time I'm just going to select the file directly and open it up there. And once I've got it uh, loaded in there, I can save this. And now students will be able to view it there. It's an embedded uh, file there in the page. So well, there's the explain everything one last time there in Canvas uh, that I uploaded, of course, from my iPad here.